Good day, friends. Welcome back to my channel and welcome back to a new Let's Play on it. So I know I've been doing like 5 million Let's Plays, but um, I'm having trouble, uh, you know, recording stuff on my consoles. So I thought I might need some new PC games, basically. So we're going to play Ender All. I've been wanting to play this for a while now. It's basically a total overhaul of Skyrim from what I've gathered. I've never played it though, so I know nothing about it. And yeah, I mean, I have nothing to say other than I'm interested and I'm probably going to enjoy this a lot. So let's just start a new game. Explore Ender All? Yes. Ooh, I can see? No? No? Ooh! A nice day in summer. I have to talk with Daddy. He wants to tell me something important. Oh, am I a child? Not see my legs, so I don't know. So far, it's goddamn beautiful. Oh, look at the sun. I'm guessing I have to follow the road. A chicken, or whatever. A pheasant? I don't know. Is this our house? Is daddy here? I like that. Oh, wow. Oh, you? Press E to talk with that. Okay. Oh, hey there. I didn't see you coming. So, how did it go? Did We're you find it? One. Um, what is this place, Daddy? Where are we? <laughs> Where are we? We're at home, silly. Where else would we be? Just mommy, sister, you and me. Now tell me, how did it go? Did you find it? No, I didn't. No? Hmm, pity. Maybe you're simply looking in the wrong places. Did you ever think of that? <sighs> oh, well, who knows? Say, why don't you go inside and see if you can help Mommy with the cooking? The creator was kind to us today and sent a big, fat elk right in front of my bow. All right? Sure. Interesting. Is this how everything started? The story of my character. A lot of ingredients, huh? An interesting pa- Okay. Oh. Um, where is mother and everybody else? My, my, I totally forgot what a mess I left here. But I was right, wasn't I? A real gem we've got here. Well then, let's waste no more time and get to it, shall we? Sure, but what about mommy and sister? What? Now would you look at that? I totally forgot about them. They're dead, don't you remember? You murdered them back then, both of them. Me. But hey, no use crying over spilled milk, right? At least this means there's more meat for the two of us. Uh, well, that's a way to you look at it. You still remember how to do this, right? First, off with the skin. Slice up the belly, then out with the entrails. I'll look for a nice sharp knife in the meantime to cut off the head. I don't think either of us wants to eat that, do we? <laughs> All of the options are the same. I'll go for the middle one. But I didn't kill them, Daddy. It was the masked men. Oh, silly, what's this again? We both know that's a lie. You did it. I remember it all. First, you set this horrible fire to your sister's crib. She screamed and screamed, and Mommy heard it, but when she finally got there, nothing was left of her but burnt flesh. And... Oh, gosh, do we really need to go through this again? You know how sad it makes me when you do this. Uh. You killed them, period. No matter how often you tell me you didn't, it changes nothing. You hear me? Nothing. Now please, let's start cooking. I'm so bloody damn hungry. But I didn't kill them, Daddy. It was the masked man. Oh, by the creator's name, why are you telling these lies? Isn't it enough that you murdered us? Do you really have to bother me over and over with your stupid, pathetic, and pointless whining? You know, sometimes I wish the creator would have 
made me just a little less merciful. Just a little less pious. Because then, I would have realized that you were tainted by sin long before any of this had ever happened. And instead of raising you, feeding you, and loving you like a father does, I would have put you in the horse trough right after you were born. Yes, I should have killed you. I should have just killed you. Just like you killed us. And now, you think you're safe because we're all under the earth, don't you? Well, listen up, my child. You are wrong. And do you know why? Because the dead don't forget. Do you hear me? The dead don't forget. Now enough of this useless chatter. I'm bloody starving. Bring me the meat, you spoiled brat. Bring it to me. Bring me a nice crisp piece of meat. 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 So I'm assuming this was a nightmare. Right? Completed the nice day in summer. We've completed our first quest. How fun. Um. Let's begin with a question. Oh, good to see you. Huh. It might sound simple to you at first. It's so freaking loud. I pray you to think about it. Mm -hmm. What distinguishes a free man from a slave? For now, however, let us start this story where another one ended three years ago. With the death of the Lightborn. For 4,000 years, they had reigned over this world. Seven Arcanists who, through their magic, had acquired eternal life. In a time of chaos, they gave mankind what they thought it needed most, to be ruled over with an iron-clad, fair hand. Within just one century, they united the shattered lands, and a single century later, their human origin was forgotten. They became gods, or lightborn, as they let themselves be worshipped as. Yet the longer they reigned, the louder the voices grew that accused them of tyranny. The loudest being that of Naranzul Aranthio. And he succeeded in achieving what was once thought impossible. He gathered an army, overturned the lightborn, and gave back freedom to mankind. However, the price for this was high, because where there are gaps of power, fights erupt. As such, this world grew into what it is today. Shattered, riven, and broken into pieces. This is so well made. But all of this was merely a diversion so that no one would notice something else. The death of the Lightborn had set something into motion, a clockwork, having long stood still. Its gears now once again slowly began to turn. This is the story of someone who wanted to be free. Okay, I love the voice acting. Very well done so far. Shh, hey, quiet, damn it. You wanna wake up the entire ship or what? Serious, serious black is that you? Well, sorry. That was a bit harsh. I, I'm just nervous, that's all. It was that dream again, wasn't it? Yes. Uh huh. Seriously, if we had a penny for every night since we met where you woke up screaming, we'd probably be traveling to Andoral in our own starship and... Well, not like this. Well, Some things never change, I guess. Beggars can't be choosers. Do you ever ask yourself if maybe you blame yourself for all of this? For what happened to your family, I mean. Let me guess I didn't do nothing, I'm just having nightmares, huh? Blame myself? What makes you think that? Well, there must be a reason that you dream the same thing over and over, mustn't there? I'm no scholar, but maybe these dreams are trying to tell you something. Oh, I, I don't know. 
Nonsense. Those bastards from the temple killed them, not me. And I know that. <laughs> as determined as ever. I guess you're right. But... Who knows? Maybe everything is gonna be different now. It's strange, isn't it? The way life sometimes goes. Now, if you had told me that a few weeks ago, I would have at the very least called you insane. But if the stories are true, there's no better place for a fresh start. Can you believe it? Apparently there aren't even any slaves on Enderal. It's amazing. Only this whole blind passenger thing is making my headache. Well... It's not our fault that the ship is so poorly guarded, and we couldn't have afforded the passage fee anyway. Not our fault? Damn it, we're thieves. Oh, well. Frauds. And unlike you, I actually have a problem with that. Oh. But anyway, what's done is done. I just hope the Andralians are easier on Outlanders than the Neremis are. Your mother was a fugitive as well, wasn't she? Where exactly did she come from? You've told me a hundred times, but uh, I just keep on forgetting it. Oh! Well, first of all, I'm gonna change my gender. Okay, finished. I don't know. She looks a, a little bit like a hoe, but it'll be fine. Oh, of course I have to name my character. Um, I was alien, huh? I don't know what that is. Um, see, I don't know what... Like, with Skyrim, I can play around with names, and... Right now, I'm stuck, kind of. I don't like naming my characters. I don't know, Liana, maybe? Fro like, from... Uh, uh, Darkness Eye, you know? Something like this? Sure. We'll work with that. Araziel. Right, how could I have forgotten? Araziel, that's she what She was one say. of the few free people who ever set foot on a ship. <sighs> anyway... I'm gonna hit the hay for an hour or so. It's your turn to stand. Wait. You hear that? Let me guess we're in trouble. Shit! Someone's coming! Women nowadays just don't want a man to court them anymore. That's the problem. I tell you, sometimes I long for the good old days. Back when I could lift a skirt, nobody would bat an eye. Anyway, enough of the chit chat. No, Can I kill him? That key. I don't like oh, him. Blazes, what do they want down here? The lamp, quickly, put out the lamp. Good. Now, quiet. Ah, here we go. Ah, it smells like Vautier's balls down here. Say now, what's that chest supposed to look like? Small, with the crest of the Blue Island Coalition on it, I think. Ah, yeah, right, right. Black Guardian knows what the captain wants it for this shortly before arriving. You go look upstairs. I'll see if I can find it down here. Oh, well, they're coming over here, aren't they? Okay. Should I ready my fists? Oh, shit. They don't leave us any choice. We need to do something quick. You take on the old guy, I'll take the young one. Go! Come on, dodge! You can do it! How the hell am I supposed to dodge when you're not helping at all? Oh man, oh man, oh man, oh man! That wasn't part of the plan! <sighs> Not at all. Oh, what in blazes are we going to do now? Let's tie them up and gag them. When we arrive, we sneak out. Yes, yes, of course. That that makes sense. One of them said it's not much longer until we arrive. With a little luck, no one will notice they're gone until then. Hopefully. Come on, help me search. There must be a rope or something. I thought we were over the hump when we made it on board. Oh, they have nothing? It just can't ever be easy, can it? Poor lost souls. The probabilities have turned against you. Who are you? What the? Who are you? You are confused by my sudden appearance. We definitely are. My identity is irrelevant. 
Oh, how is the relevant? Dear Sirius, unfortunately. What? Oh shit! Please don't tell anyone we're down here. Please, we didn't mean any harm. These guys were just. You ask that I not reveal you, for your intentions were not evil, and I believe you. But you won't do it. But sadly, it's not compassion that rules my deeds. The first beat of a wing must happen. It is the only way the probabilities will fall into place. This is the way it has to be. The way it has been for eons. Uh huh. I am sorry. Actually, what the? Oh no! No! What are you doing, please? Just don't leave. We were just, we just wanted to. Is she going to kill us? Or... Okay. Well. Prologue. A new life. Huh? At least it's, it loads fast. Hmm. After we had left Osteen, the two of you hid in the cargo and lived on our stocks. Then when Rick and Seabald found you, you gave them a beating. And all of a sudden, a veiled woman appeared and knocked you out with wild magic. Is that about it? Yes. I, I know it sounds crazy, but it's the truth. Please, my dame, we, we... We didn't have a choice. You've got to believe us, the war. It, we, we just wanted a second chance, that's all. A second chance. Yes, I think I understand you. You wanted to start a new life in a new land. And as my ship is one of the only ships still sailing the route since the wars, you were simply forced to board without paying. Yes, we could work for you, you know? We could scrub the deck, peel potatoes, anything to pay off our debt. And as soon as we've arrived... She won't believe us. Heartbreaking. How truly, truly heartbreaking. But let's be honest. You did have a choice. You could have signed on like all the others did, but you didn't. Instead, you've nested on my ship like flesh maggots, enjoying the good life while my crew actually had to earn their keep. She'll throw us into the water. And now she? you're feeding me this bullshit about veiled women and wild magic? How stupid do you think I am? I know your kind. You are cutthroats, filchers. At least have the guts We're to going to die. It. What? No, 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 no. You, you're wrong. We, please, just let me explain. I... I don't give a shit for your explanations. If there's one thing I hate more than cowards, it's people trying to pluck my heartstrings. You two are scum. And there's only one kind of punishment for scum on my ship. Pull him up. Well, I know I'll survive somehow because I'm the main character, but he'll probably die. Of course, Captain. I'm sorry, lad. I'll be honest. You should have stayed in there, him. But you, you can't do this. Oh, believe me, I can. <laughs> no. I can't. Well, she went stabby stabby on him. Oh well, look at that. Someone's woken up. Rise and shine. Tie her and her comrade together and feed them to the fish. Oh, you won't stab me? Good luck in your new life, friend. I will find you and I will kill you. Oh. Another cutscene, huh? <laughs> cool. It's weird because, like, Skyrim doesn't have that, so you know. Breathe. Uh huh, I'm breathing. Tell me, what is time to the day to dream anyway? So many people just talk, 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 and How never does it end. Feel to be powerless? This is about your damn pride, Tila. I know I'm not real. At least not according to your definition. I know damn well I'm evil. It's just... Well, it's just and there is nothing I could do. This isn't happening. But then again, this just isn't happening. what is reality and... Selfish fool! Oh, that was so freaking loud. The cutscenes will be pure torture for me. <laughs> I can already feel that. Hopefully there won't be any more of them. <laughs> Please. Where am I? 
Talent learned meditation. Kind of like the Witcher. Well, this first of all looks beautiful. Lycanthropy doubles the harvest of plants. Uh -huh. Oh, in between by meditating with that. Oh, so this is where I level up. I'm assuming. Interesting. Cool, actually. And I've been washed up. Oh, I'm dizzy now. It starts with the dreams. This reminds me of Risen, if anybody played that game, like the beginning. I see a chest over there. Oh, what's over here? Spare parts, scroll of boon, elf potion, rancid, huh? Coal. A knife. Oh, this is not a chest. Let's look around. Quick save. So far, I see nothing. Get your journal with G and open hero menu by pressing H. Hero menu? Oh, oh. Look at the info. Sirius is dead and I'm alive. I write these words, but I'm not sure if I'm understanding them at, the, at least one bit. I'm on my own. Apparently I had luck. I woke in a valley basin. This has to be Enderal. I'm feeling strange, feverish and weak as well as strong and clear. As if a veil had been in front of my eyes for my entire life, which was lifted now. I'm also remembering a weird dream which I had before. I woke up, especially the words of the veiled woman who subdued Sirius and me in the ship's bow. It all begins with the dreams, remember. I need answers, and I can find those most likely on shore. So loud. Should lower the volume of the game. Anyway. <laughs> Not going to do that now, apparently. The rune, just like in the vision. Some kind of cat blood. Oh, a sword! Pickaxe? I don't know if that's actually- Oh, look, I can mine! <laughs> uh, obviously, I can craft stuff, probably, right? Should I be doing this right now, though? Oh, garn, I, I might actually be able to make some money with those, or if that's how it works. You know? Because it might be a bit different than... Okay, the sounds are a bit different. And the sword looks a bit different as well. Okay, nice. What's oh, over here? Oh! Rats! Why are the rats so strong? Wait, did the animations change? I think so, somewhat. I don't know. Sack. Spare price. What do you need them for? I guess I'll find out eventually. Where? How do I? Oh! <laughs> oh gosh. Do I have any spells? Meditation only, huh? Increases heavy armor. Oh. Weird fever. Fox sponge. <laughs> You're using your skill to learn new books. Take the book at the skeleton's feet and use it. One handed apprentice. Uh. Ah. Cool. It's actually pretty interesting. Definitely different. Well, somebody's been tortured here. 
Which way am I going? Can I open this somehow? Would be cool if I could. Do I have to go up there somehow? Missing something to activate the mechanism. And what do I need? Oh, a room key. This? <laughs> Looks like the skeleton key. Oh no, that's cool. Stairs? Oh, that's really cool. Although they could raise a little bit faster. But I'm... Um, whoops. Oh, bats. It seems like my health is not regenerating. So that's an interesting thing. I'm assuming this will be a little bit more difficult than Skyrim per se. Ah, oh, the sound of my bare feet flopping on the ground. What do we have here? Oh god. An edible beer. So if I sleep for one hour... Oh. Let's read our books. Elementalism. Oh, I need learning points. Oh. Interesting. It's so dark in here. Hopefully y'all be will be able to see. Maybe I can raise the brightness a little bit. The corpses and the light, they're all gone. They're gone. What I cannot do is read. Abandoned temple, huh? This machine, why does it seem so familiar? I actually like these little text prompts on the screen. So should I go down? Kinda wanna look around if there's anything. Over here, maybe? Ah, it's just a mushroom. You found an ice claw. Ice claws listed in your inventory under consumables permanently raise your carry weight by one point when eaten. Oh, cool. Should I eat it right now? <laughs> Interesting. Yeah, eat the mushroom and raises your carry weight. Um, oh, not gonna lie, this place looks a little bit creepy, just a teeny tiny bit. Stop the fence. Oh, it ra oh. Use controller can sneak to send a dead or try to sneak it up. Against who? Blueprint iron gauntlets. Oh, chisel device. Maybe I'll need those. I have no idea at this point. Ignore me, please. He might be too strong for me. I don't want to fight him. 
The Sun Coast, huh? Like a lot of prompts just happened. Have to collect fungi and whatever. Let's see. Mana fungi to hasten the regeneration of mana. Pumpkins. Find a way out of the ravine. Got myself a firefly. Oh, pumpkin. Only one from that old. Mm. How does a mana fungi look, though? <laughs> That's my question. Well, I need one more. I'm assuming they're not that hard to come by. Oh, that's how they look. Moon carrot. <laughs> Jeez. It's weird to see new stuff, you know. Damn, but this looks beautiful. I don't know if I should be taking that junk, but we'll see, I guess. Oh, you're dead. <laughs> Human flesh? Ooh. What's that? Magic symbol. An old sword. Is it a good sword? Uh... The same as, but it looks nicer, so I'll use it. I didn't know where the enemy was. Oh well. Any more mana mushrooms around here somewhere? No. Unlucky Vagrant. A brittle longbow. You know what? I will take his clothes though. No, he's all naked right now. But like, I'm seriously underdressed. How do I look? Better, I guess. Wolf meat. Eh, yeah, sure. I'll eat. Oh, the raw wolf meat. That seems like a smart thing to do. Don't tell me all of the mushrooms were at that one place and now I won't be able to find more of them. Oh, that shouldn't be the case, should it? Ooh, you know what? Uh... Can I favorite stuff? Okay, as like oh, no, 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 no. This, this. Okay, now I remember. Aha! <laughs> Jump, Liana! God damn it! Aha! Now you won't be able to reach me. Stupid idiots. They seriously run away? Rancid. Worsens arcane fever. Oh god. Don't even know what the arcane fever is.
Okay, one of them is left. Come over here. You cannot aim when you're far away from me. Yeah, get stuck in the tree. Do that. There we go. Oh, I leveled up. You've risen to level 2. You received 5 learning points, 4 crafting points, and 1 memory point. Current attributes, health 90, mana 88, stamina 95. I will choose 9 health. Oh, I can learn some new skills right now. Learning book, seek. Ma you know what I want? Marksman. Costs one learning point. I have four, so I can do that. Heavy armor. Mm -hmm. See, I don't know if I'll be using heavy armor, so we'll see. For now, at least. A knife, mana potion. Probably won't be wearing that, but um, can always sell it, right? Stained mushroom. Where's the mana mushroom? Where is it? that crab so strong. Guess I'll never find out. What's this? Damn. You know what? You know what? I'll use the point. A lantern. Can I use it? Probably can't. Heavy leather boots. I'll put it on. Oh, look at me, all armored up. She's a little bit ugly. I have to admit. Can I jump over? I mean, I can. Oh, look, a nice claw. Huh. It's good to explore, I guess. Well, obviously it is, but um... I forgot I can actually sprint. I've been playing so much Oblivion that, you know, I forgot this exists in Skyrim, so ob obviously here as well. Anyway, can I use that lantern, though? Oh man. I thought maybe they would have added that mod. Oh, another ice clump. Wild berries. A bird doing something. No more mana mushrooms, huh? Okay. I see someone. Now, would you look at that? I knew I'd seen someone scrambling in the mountains. Who are you? What brings you here, my dame? None of your business. Ha! <laughs> I know that accent. You're Neremese, aren't you? Though obviously not the most sociable of fellows, it would seem. You... Huh? Who's that? Are we going there to we fight? Go. Everything's locked up. At least for the night we should. Wait a second. Who's that? <sighs> Just an adventurer on her way. No reason to worry. No reason to worry? For heck's sake, Finn. How do you know that this girl isn't with the bandits? You said you'd call me if anyone showed up. And now you're s standing here, having a chat with her as if we were in the bathing house of Ark. Lo and behold, we are still alive. Now, is there anything else, Carbos? Huh. I've got my eye on you. Touch any of our stuff, and you'll regret it. 
Unbelievable. <sighs> May I present Carbos as he lives and breathes. Sorry about that just now. That's just how he is. In any case, if you don't need any more help, I'd suggest you move on. Follow the way east behind the dam house. It'll lead you to a village called uh, Riverville. Riverville. Ah, here, take this. Truth be told, you don't look so healthy. Your eyes. <laughs> ah, well, whatever. Yeah, I think I'm sick or whatever. Can you tell me more about this region? Well, what can I tell you? This is the Sun Coast, in the south of Enderal. A pretty peaceful area. Except for all the animals and bandits that have recently started going crazy. And, well, that's pretty much it. I think you should ask the people in Riverville if you want to know more. They certainly have some stories to tell. Okay. I see, and are there places that might be of interest to an adventurer? To an adventurer? <laughs> if you ask me, what you need before you adventure anywhere is some good old-fashioned shutter. But yes, there are some places. The Three River Watch, for example, right there below the Stone Arch. It was once an old trading post, but now it's full of ooh, shady characters. Ah, and there's also a big Pyrian ruin south of it. Uh huh. You said you were apothecarious by my path. What do you mean by my path? <laughs> By the Black Guardian. You really are an outlander, aren't you? That's me. My path is... <laughs> well, it, it's just me path. My role designated to me by Malthus. A kind of calling, if you will. I see. A role designated by Malthus. You mean the gods assign your professions to you? Uh, not exactly. Malthus designates our place in society. Generally the same one our fathers and forefathers occupied. I walk the path of the Eridites, and there's also the Manufacturers, the Sublimes, and, of course, the Pathless. Within these rules, we are free to choose a profession, but certain vocations that are available to an Eridite are not permitted to a Manufacturer, which is one path below. However, below does not mean that it is in any way inferior. Everyone on Enderal does what they do best. And who would know better than the gods what exactly that is? Right. Huh, an interesting thought. Well, I didn't come up with it. I'm not really interested in him. That's it for now. Thanks for your help. Oh, look, I could trade with him. Hmm, yeah, why not? Show me what you've got. Maybe I have some things you can use. Let's see. I know. I know. Ambrosia. Do you have any weapons? What lessons might I can if you I am poor? I have four pennies. Food. What so do oh. That's it for now. Don't mention it. I wish you a quick recovery and safe roads. Walk blessed. Thank you. Carbos, do we need this still tomorrow? Or can I clean all the tools? Place is thin. I'm playing. Well, I'll stand over I'm here all dramatic and whatever, and I, I will end the episode. So, me. it's not too long. It's not as long as I expected, because usually my first episodes of every new Let's Play are kind of long, over an hour. But anyway, I don't have time. So I, I am enjoying this mod so far a lot. I don't know if I should call the mod this overhaul a lot. I know I'll be enjoying, enjoying it even more once I play more of it. So I do hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please like and subscribe and consider following me on my social media. Somewhere on the screen or in the description below. The next episode will ask that guy about our fever and continue our journey, I guess. So I hope you have a great weekend. Rest of the week. Goodbye. Mm -hmm.